I'm going to show you a list of assets and add-ons that are both free and paid. I will save you a lot of time, increase the quality of your renders and workflow simultaneously. I have to mention Vertex Arcade customizable female base mesh and the adjustable mannequin. This allows you to create custom base mesh that you can use as a base to start your character arts. He also added some character presets and poses which you can find in the asset browser which is super helpful when you're starting out on the character. The filming base mesh also has the same features but with added details. You can see him using these base meshes while sculpting. Blender also offers base meshes that you can use to start off your character as well. This add-on is specifically created for anyone wanting to do professional lighting of products in Blender. Light Studio from B Productions contains 37 different slides divided into 3 different lighting styles to light up your arts. The position reflection feature is awesome as with just a click, you can set where you want your lights to come from. Just kind of like painting lights but with a click. You can also add light reflections on your objects by dragging and dropping where you want the reflections to appear. This is a must have if you are struggling with lighting your products. You don't have rigs to practice your animations. Well, you can get these 6 high quality blender rigs for free from P2 Design Academy. Agora Community also offers a massive library of blender rigs that you can use. So Animate is also giving this bot rig for free. And the Blender Studio itself is also offering rigs for free from their short frames. You can also get some of the production presets using these movies like this material assets library. Check out the links in the description below. Leonardo is giving this free platform generator that uses the power of geometry nodes to generate. It comes with different assets to create different platform styles. This will save you hours of work trying to make this kind of platform from scratch. So check it out. Although the free version doesn't come with textures, this add-on turns a tedious and long task into a short and fun one. The Blossom add-on imports building from OpenStreetMaps and Google 3D Cities directly into Blender without no hassle. I used it to create this simple animation for my intro to my last video. So if you need a quick city or street scene, check out this add-on. Talking about cities, Andreas is offering the city generator that lets you generate cities. This is packed with a ton of features like creating your own city layouts, a traffic simulation we add realism to the layouts, and having control over the procedural materials of the building. You can also create night scenes. This looks like they were out of a movie. You will need Blender 4.1 and 4.2 to run this. You can generate clothes in Blender using the Divine Cut add-on that lets you quickly generate clothes by just mapping the body parts of your character and customizing the style of the garments. You can customize the neck size and sleeve lengths from a crop top to a gown. You can also add zippers and buttons to create the perfect clothes that you want. If you're having troubles creating and painting multiple layers for paint textures, then get the Has Paint Layer add-on by Hero. This being free is crazy. It lets you create and organize multiple paint layers and paint directly onto 3D objects in your scene. You can apply filters, merge the layers, and export those textures if you need to. You can also create presets to the settings you use often. This add-on makes projections painting easy. So check it out. Want to add realistic droplets to your products? Well, Clever Poly has a H2O droplet simulation tool that uses the power of geometry nodes. It lets you create droplet simulation that you can use on your product or on a default mesh. You can adjust the size, the density of the droplets, and a ton of other customizable features. You can also animate the droplets. If you want to add realism to your environment, the G Trash can help you do that. With over 280 photo scanned assets that you can populate your scene with, it is as simple as adding a plane and clicking add trash and it will populate your scenes and toggle for different variations. You can add different effects like grunge, dust and moss. You can also control it by using the weight painting feature to control where the trash will appear. From the creators of the botanic add-on, the render set add-on will save you a lot of time and headaches. This add-on is going to help you set different renders of the same scenes with different settings and cameras. You can store different variations of the particular scene and render them. You can also take snapshots from the visuals and render them individually. You can also set batch renders and it will handle all that for you without having to start a render after one is done. So that's it. Having a bunch of add-ons when you can't create your own art isn't great. So learn how to model anything and stimulate your visual minds by watching this video.